Hey guys, so I've let these sit um, for about 12 hours. You can do it as long as you want. Honestly, it works for like 30 minutes, but I did it for more because I want to keep them in there, keep them fresh. And it's really just easy to do. So here's a cool recipe that you can use to make edible cookie dough. Hello! Today we're going to have a short drawing lesson and only if you're interested. All you need is a black pen, mine is rather thin, and a few markers. We're, I'm going to be using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Just the colors of the rainbow. We're going to be drawing any picture you want but thermalized. Where the places that are heated most are shades of red and orange and the shades of purple and blue are places that are the coldest. But if you want to draw a first layer as well, then you'll need a pencil and an eraser. I absolutely recommend using referenced images. First, if you're drawing a draft like I am, you're gonna take your pencil and eraser and just draw a very rough picture of your drawing. So I'm just gonna start drawing a little draft. I'm using a reference image I found on Google. I just finished my little draft of what I'm going to draw and now I'm going to take my black pen which is a very thin tip but you can really do it as thick as you'd like and I'm going to trace over my pencil drawing and line it. Lined drawing. I haven't erased my pencil marks yet because what I like to do after I've lined something is go over and make certain places on certain lines thicker. Now. This is what I have after I've thickened some lines. We're going to erase our um, underlying pencil marks. Now, we're gonna introduce colors. And I'm going to start with the warmest area or the area where there would be the most heat. And with that, I'll use red. I'm not sure why, but this is where I expect there to be most heat on feet. And so that's where I drew most of the red. This is a blanket, and since I didn't expect the blanket to have a huge amount of heat, I'm gonna use colder colors for that. But now we're gonna move on to where there's still quite a bit of heat, but not as much as the red, and we're gonna use orange. Now that we've added the orange, which it's kind of blended in, we're going to go on to yellow. Yellow is kind of a neutral color. It's not cold, but it's not warm. Maybe it's a little bit more on the warmer side, but I think yellow is probably the color you'll use most. Now, you may see your picture slowly coming together. This is how my feet look after adding the yellow. Personally, I'm a little scared to add green because I don't know if it'll wreck it. If you want to, you're totally free to go on ahead and put green in the areas where you may still have some remaining um, blank space and try to blend it in with the yellow. I actually found an even lighter shade of yellow, which is um, almost a green, but it's, it's just very, very light, which is what I'm going to use in replacement of the yellow and green. Now, I finished coloring the feet. You have a thermal effect on them. But now, I'm going to go to the blanket. My warmest color that I'm going to use is going to be yellow. You can choose whatever color you think would fit best with your picture. I've now added my first shade of yellow to the background of the blanket. You can see here I have some empty space where, or just here actually, where I will not be coloring in because I like to have some empty space where we'll later color in black to give it a popping effect. Now I'm gonna move to a place that's a little bit colder and I'm going to use my light yellow. I've just finished adding my second shade the background, it's a little light so you can't see it very well. And now I'm going to add green. Okay, I've added my green and it seems kind of um, sudden. So I'm going to use the last shade I used before it to try to blend it. Now that I've blended it, um, I'm going to go with my next color, which for me is blue. My blue didn't blend the best and I don't have a blender, but I think it's okay because 
overall it'll just not affect it too much. Use another dark purple and just fill in the last bit. Now, we've actually finished all the thermal we're gonna do. I might thicken the lines on the baby feet. Now, if you have any empty space like I do, you can keep it white if you'd like, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is take a 100% black marker and just color it in black. I just colored in my background black as well as thickened the lines of the baby's feet. Now you're all done, thank you.